looked at the ground using his detective talents he's like yeah they've taken that ek they've got it out of here yeah, if you are actually really bothered about getting the AWP in the fourth, and Apex saves his armor and Shock saves the AK, well, you actually can, like, you know, Apex can buy the AWP up and throw it over and still be armed. So, you know, there's a world you can uh, you can spread this cash around and, and still manage to get it. I mean, Zywoo actually has enough. It wouldn't mean any utility, but... Man, I always try to do the math. Yeah, you I go. trust it's you, just, and oh, look, look where it leads me. I know, me. man, I know. It's fine, though, you know? We'll see what he does. Yeah, he just buys himself and gets a smoke alongside it. Knowing there's AKs in play, one UMP, but by and large, it's a full buy for Liquid here. Double Org as well. We've been seeing more and more of that in this series from Vitality. Window smoke, because I don't care. He's jumping up. Oh, he gets knocked down a peg, though, into lower. He is trapped. Smoke is down, and they try and model him out of position. Nice shot for Zaiwu. The fire, though, spreading. He's got to hide in the smoke, and at any point, they can come from under and kill him. Yeah, I was going to say, if he escapes there, I'll be surprised. Grim does catch him from below, and even if he didn't, Stewie's at the top of middle. Again, back to B for Liquid. Stewie can't really help in this one, so it's all down to this B crunch. Yeah, smokes are down right now. Masuta still sat on an incendiary grenade as well. Has that to throw in. That could even divide this push in two if they do try and attempt it. For the time being, he's not moving a muscle. Still, he and Naf are working this mid area, but that was just to grab that AWP and put that in the hands of Naf. He's now rejoining the apartment's play. But while all this has gone on, Stewie's gotten into a more powerful position down here in the bottom of mid. He can cut off rotations. He can try coming late through short. There's a lot that Stewie can do here. And now the B plays on the cards. Masuta with the swing and the double up as well. Ooh. Ollie's raining through, but he does live to tell the tale. Stewie cutting down Ooh. these rotations, but that doesn't matter if you don't have the bomb. Naf's been able to grab it and now runs for the hills, looking maybe to make a last-ditch attempt into this A bomb site. So Stewie's role now changes from cutting down rotations to entry fragger as he tries to set up Naf and present a bomb plant in a round where really it shouldn't be happening. This CT swing could decide it all. Oh. for Vitality, and it's very well-timed. Naf knows that he can't get that bomb planted in the 1v3, and so he just runs off to save. It's a good first rifle round from Vitality. I think it was very important that they hit the ground running here in this third map, and so they will. Yeah, you can already see the Vitality definitely seem aware of like Stewie's role on this T side, right? They're, they're doing their best to not give him those picks back into the round. Uh, you know, playing passive towards CT, giving up window when you know that the Liquid are grouped towards a bomb site. And yeah, Stewie may catch RPK towards Connector, but it doesn't really provide much other than, you know, that, that fleeting bit of hope that maybe we can get a bomb plant after all. That's denied by Apex and CT. So I want to see if Vitality keep it up and keep Stewie you know, contained in this CT side. Easier said than done. Fallen. Oh, Molly out. Oh, and the nade. There's no getting away from the grenades of Vitality. So he'll have to throw his own. Smoke back to window. Push very deep and B is grim. Liquid are looking for mid picks that aren't being offered up. When that smoke fades, Shox is going to be in a great position. It's really smoked as well. Nice mid control for Liquid, right? There's nothing stopping them, nothing contesting it. In fact, they have shocks trapped, although he doesn't know it. It's Stewie with the opener. Liquid, they can go wherever they want right now. But why? It was straight away from this B bomb site, right? You, even though Masuta looked damn good last round, like, they've already got the pick. Liquid is set up for this play, and in they go. Yeah, Masuta doesn't hold the line here. This is a save, and he's already tagged down low. Ooh. One for one's it, but that still might be the save call for Vitality. Maybe they give this a look in, right? See if they can get that equalizer. But RPK is already running away, as are the rest of the gang. And so it's a pretty brutal round to have taken away in that in that fashion. I like it that you isolate the fight at short. You know once you've dealt with that short player, well, it's only Masuta left in B. And then they actually throw Molotovs in through the window to land at jungle to deny the early rotations. I think that's that's a really nice way of approaching that B play and using those mid players, not just to, uh, to cut down players in rotation and, you know, get those lurk kills, but they're even using their utility to slow down the rotates to leave Masuta as the only thing to worry about in that B bomb site. So that'll be a fourth on the board for Team Liquid.
Yeah, a few guns saved, right? Enough to buy around it for Vitality. They can drop the orb. They can do really what they want here. So it's uh, it could be far worse. But Liquid is certainly building into this T side, and they haven't really had to show it all too much either, right? Just taking mid, cycling those window smokes, grouping B, and waiting for you know the five on four to come in. Most of the time, it is fallen back on the orb. One on one, not really had to do much just yet, but we'll see if that changes now. Setting up in the palace and waiting for a push. Shocks on the bulk. And Apex, knowing not to give away the window kill, just holds back safe. Very passive for Liquid, expecting proactive moves for Vitality, and other than Zywu, you know, pushed up on the B apartments with a tag to a lead, there's not really much else to look at for Vitality. They are just waiting for the commitment from Liquid, and it will come through towards this A site, going for the execute bomb. is coming back through spawn. Actually, I say that, doubles back. Grouping with Fallen and Co. And B after all, I mean, it's Liquid's home ground, it feels like. This time, though, with the AWP there on Zywoo plus Masuta on the shore side, it's going to be a tough task to get yourself into this bomb site. Yeah, Flash goes into the apartments. They hope that gets the AWP off the angle, but it's not peeking into apps. Masuta instead oh, okay. is the man to go peeking in, and now you have to try and run into Zywoo as well. That's a pretty meaty behold if ever you've seen one. Naf as the first, and he spots Iwu as well. Oh, the tag is in. Does get the reload off, but the repeat can come through from the market. It's Iwu to snatch it away. And Vitality are up onto a second. Masuta, it's becoming obvious early on that we need these kind of rounds out of him with the B plays that Liquid are throwing in. Whenever he's got these multi-kills, Vitality rather have found the round. So good as well. The fact that he gets that third jumping up on top of the van, that didn't look like it was meant to be, no. and yet he makes it work. Mid-air, spray transfer to the third. Like, yeah, that's just... Uh, can't account for that if you're liquid. Even get the mollies down and everything, and yeah, Halij, like, what, what more can you do? The execute looked perfect, and Masuta just strips it apart. Now the money's starting to drip dry for liquid as well. Fallen's on a Mac. Yeah, it's great to see this uh, kind of leg work out of Masutra as well, especially considering how I feel like whenever we get Nevera in, he's always performing. And, you know, it, like it would suck if, if one is and the other isn't and you're swapping them out on a map and then they're underperforming and, and you're questioning, well, what could have happened if we had X player in? But no, Masutra is really holding his own. And Liquid don't care. They don't give a damn. They're going right back to B with a vengeance. Third time's a charm, right? In they go, Masuta. They're asking him again to hold the line, and oh, we had a timing there, but instead they're deep now. Missing that one opportunity you're given. You don't have many more of them. Stewie with the double entry, nice. and the B site is overrun once more by Team Liquid. You like to think this is going to do a hefty amount of conditioning to Vitality to leave a second man here, such as Zai Wu. Because now a man down. If nothing presents itself soon, it might just be another one of these saves. Sharks is already out at short, and Elige doesn't seem aware, but Ooh. he'll swing onto it. Lock in the kill. The orb picked up by RPK, but he's getting okay. wrapped. The no scope in. <laughs> That's probably where his journey draws to an end, and indeed it is. Five for Liquid. The B site just getting abused. And this is great. You know, like in a way, you yeah. can keep running this till you, till, till it really, you know, till. So blah, blah. Till it stops. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that was a hard set. Thank you, Hugo. That's why you're here. Yeah, no, I agree, right? Even though Masuta's actually looking damn good in some of these rounds, well, in this one, they actually catch him off, right? Like he, like you said, he had a chance, but the one chance he had was a player jumping off a balk, and he didn't want to commit to it, and then he swings back out and gets domed. So, yeah, like he's either had, you know, multi-kills or just nothing, and that's that's a good gamble for Liquid. They'll, they'll take those odds, especially considering we're seeing, you know, more and more mid-control out of them. So, oh, Vitality, a leech saws I will on the cross. He finishes the job and Apex. Ooh. Wanna watch out. Chewie will actually take him down from under instead. And Mizzou is pushed up on Catwalk. I mean, it's only an eco, right? Vitality are looking to win the Eagle fights. We saw what Masuta could do with his back on Vertigo, but like, this should just be Liquid ultimately winning their battles for the most part. 
there's Mizuta gone as well. Another in connector, and it might just be five kills in middle here for Liquid. They don't have to go anywhere. Forget picking a bomb site. Middle is your bomb site. Six to two, and everything working wonderf uh, wonderfully for Liquid. Another rob for Zai Wu. Maybe he can get in the window, right? Even though Liquid are cycling smokes, there's definitely been you know chances early in the round for a window player to get a shot off before they bloom. So we'll see where Zai Wu takes his AWP because Shox actually has one as well. So one or the other. Shox taking his towards B, Zai Wu A. And so again, mid is not going to be the, the other solution for Vitality, at least so they think. With the Molly going down for Apex, he's trying to put any pressure on this area, but Liquid aren't taking it for a change. They decide to hold the uh, hold back and put on the brakes, see if Vitality want to get aggressive. That is a common you know, solution to, to constant mid-takes, getting two players pushed up at the, at the boxes with flashes raining over from the A, uh, A side of the map. So Liquid's patience pays off, nothing here, and now with the window smoke coming in late, they can start to clear it. Oh, the flick is in for Fallen. Opens the round up. And gives you a lot more room again. Top con smoke gonna get thrown over. It'll land and this gives Connector control over to Team Liquid. Now lurking around in at ramp as well is Naf trying to come in on this late peak. Elige loves doing this, right? He gets ahead of the con smoke. He's ready to peak from stairs. This is something you've got to be ready for if you're Vitality and Apex while he wins that fight. Things are heating up for him now. Zai Wu inside of A will put Ooh. up a double, but it's Naf on this lurk. They don't check for RPK and it's down to the 1v1. RPK closes it, retrieves the AWP as well. And it's that secret third man up in the palace. Yeah, with Zaiwu default, the last thing you're expecting is a Balk player, right? But that's exactly who's covering Zaiwu, right? He's he's orping towards Con and Ramp, and RPK is watching the palace. But with Liquid having no one in that position, Naf hits some nasty shots out Ramp, and it still does not matter. Great stuff for RPK. Looked a bit scary on the second spray, but he hits the wall bang just in time. Coming down to the wire. And that was with a five on four for Liquid, right? With Shocks dead on Cat straight out of the gate. So Vitality very much stacked on that A site. They knew what was coming through. Which is a big call to make to, to stack A after you lose your B short player with the consistency that we've seen Liquid go towards that B bomb site. But yeah, nice read from Apex and the Co and Vitality now. Salvage something. Money isn't pretty. Famous is a plenty. No op for Liquid either. And is this just the standard A execute coming through for Liquid, right? Seen this a thousand times before. Smokes go in, Liquid to follow. With two players tucked in over a firebox, this could get really weird really quickly. RPK, oh, Shox has dove through the smoke as well. No one's checked for RPK yet, so he goes undetected for now. Oh. But all the kills come up in favor of Liquid in the blink of an eye, and Zai Wu is left a long way away from the action. All the way over at that B side of the map, a simple A execute from Liquid works wonders. With all the individuals showing up, in spite of there being four players in that bomb site for Vitality, it's a liquid round with only a liege falling. Ooh, barrel. Hello, Stewie. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and he unscopes and misses the flick. Timing is unfortunate. He thinks Stewie's tucked and he wants to clear him, but Counter-Strike timing, it will bite you right back. Yeah, I mean, look at those Molotovs down right on that site, right? Not just triple molly, but a bench swing denied. Even though someone goes through it later, Liquid win every fight. A lot of whiff shots. RPK gets away with one, but he can't convert to the Palace player. And even swinging the bench smoke just results in Liquid getting more and more picks into A. Seven to three and a force buy for Vitality as well. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures. And Naf answers the call, killing two, pushing Palace. Still an A stack for Vitality.
And they're going to send the third man in. Why not? That's why not. Naf is still patrolling. Still controlling the map. And a five on two. Well, likely a done deal. Liquid uh, is so in control of this game right now. It's terrifying. Oh, shocks, man. You're in a really rough spot here. There's the Deagle to open up the round and a second Ooh. found as well. It was two nice shots, right? But you needed five, really. <laughs> and so this is an eighth on the board of four team liquids. I woo. Lost in the source all the way back in T-spawn. And even then, Liquid are hunting him down. No survivors. No prisoners. Well... Actually, we got a survivor on our hands here. Here you go. Yeah, not a prisoner, though. He's not trapped. I mean, Liquid should just let this one go, right, I think, at this point. Even though he is low, you don't want to lose too many guns. You do want to keep your economy intact. But him Naf and, is here. Yeah, yeah him, and, him and Naf dodged each other, fine. right, when Naf left Palace. So there's the lock-in. Yeah, four from Naf, big round as well. Uh, killing three players, pushing his way. And this is just a really, really good T-side for Liquid. Vitality have had no answers in the rounds that, you know, Liquid have taken mid. They then follow by holding on to it and waiting for aggression. If Vitality decide that that's a solution, well, they're going to be met with, you know, likely a, a hard hand. Heavy smokes into middle again, out of spawn, full eco, P250s. Oh, look at the pace of this mid to be as well. It's what Liquid were doing in the game against FaZe. Elise is so fast up catwalk, and he knows about the boost as well. RPK gone to Stewie, and now you can just start styling, start diving in, out, and about. Elise with another. Grim with a nade should be able to clear Masuta, who gets pushed into his face. And now Apex dead under, surely. There it is. Liquid. They're just having fun with it at this point. I mean, yeah, there hasn't really been much of a contest. That early conditioning you did over towards B has worked, shifting up this default for, for Vitality. You know, we've had Zaiwu there a hell of a lot. Well, then they're quick yeah. to exploit that with these mid and A plays, knowing that that AWP is going to be lacking. And like so often, right, when Vitality were in these situations, you could always look at Zaiwu and say, well, you know, he's the X factor. He's the guy who can step up and almost single-handedly turn the game around. Really, across every map so far, it barely even had to say his name. First map, it was Apex doing incredible stuff for Vitality. This double AWP now, we want it to show up, and it does get the two openers. Yeah, in sync picks for Vitality, that's something. That's certainly something, but you do not want to, you know, get ahead of yourself and think this is already a one round. Liquid are going to bleed it for everything it's worth. Apex with a lot of info on ramp. The danger of full flanking is if you do get a split by a palace player and an up connector and you're left in T-spawn on a big flank, you could be left out of the action. But with Fallen up and apps, it certainly looks like a B play. So this flank is actually huge, oh, Fallen dead. And now any chance of winning this round really goes out the window. Maybe they should jump into it instead, try and get behind enemy lines. But it will be hurt by Masuta, who's up in ladder. Bye bye, Stewie. Only a liege and RPK swings out. Flawless round for Vitality. That was what they needed, right? Not just the orbs finding the openers, but actually keeping players alive. Means they have a little bit of room to breathe in terms of economy. Liquid even calling a pause. A definitely good time to do so, right? Like you can 11 for this half right now if you're Liquid. You want to make sure you can do everything in your power to secure an extremely one sided half. Yeah, and of course, now Liquid are aware of these double AWPs being in play. You know, I think it kind of blindsided them running into an AWP at either bomb site, right? Yeah. Both nailing those opening kills. Well, now you're ready for the little trick that Vitality had up their sleeve. And with AKs across the board, I wonder if we see them just go back to like a set execute into one of these bomb sites, yeah. right? Wouldn't be a bad time to do it. You've, you've shown already that you're more than willing to go for something like that. And it's a good way of cancelling out these AWP angles. They hold mid early. 
So we're back to B-Apps with Shocks and Spawn. So the same setup with these AWPs, just waiting for kills to come to them. Liquid bounding out into middle. Vitality respect that decision. They give them the room. Window smoke and Grim coming from under. Masuta in ladder. There's often been a player there. So that's something Liquid should stay aware of, even if they kill RPK. Apex drawing them in. Do we have this boost, right? We've not really seen Liquid do that. It was it was prominent in the phase game, more often on, on B app split, but you know, still an option with Liquid being given so much room in middle, they could certainly try and go for it. Obviously, Masuta's often been there to put a stop to that boost. They get up con, RPK doesn't know yet. Now the top con smoke, let's see if Elise tries to sneak into the stairwell. Yeah, Apex, is he ready for this? It's happened time and time again. And Elise pounces from the sidelines, even killing the orb. RPK forced into a fight that he does not want to take. And Masuta trying to chase, but the smoke provides cover for Liquid on A. Yeah, bomb now down, and it might just have to be the save. Masuta makes his presence known, and he's trapped on the stairs right now. Oh, there's fire there, and he goes running through it. Does live to tell the tale, but for him and Zaiwu, tails tucked between their legs, they're saving. Liquid are on to 10. I love that top con smoke. I think Liquid utilizes it so well. Elise is always the man to make that stairs play happen. He's great at it. It's something that Vitality needs to be more ready for when that top connector smoke comes yeah. in, because he, he's so often the guy to go ahead and do that. And uh, and then that smoke ends up ends up working in two different ways for Liquid. Not only is it the thing that, as we just saw, makes it impossible for Masuta to chase, you know, and actually get those trade kills, get Liquid as they're trying to get the bomb down, but it's also like an offensive smoke, you know, that you're able to play through and use it to create openers in that A bomb site. Liquid are up on a 10 and Vitality staring down the barrel of a very one-sided first half. One last chance at a fifth, but you're, you're bang on, Hugo. Liquid, they wanted to 11 for this half. They wanted to give Vitality no breathing room. And they're one round away from doing exactly that. Oh, Mizuta. Finally, the mid push is here. I, I mean, Liquid have been waiting for this eventuality, waiting for this reaction in a lot of these rounds, but are they ready for it now? Finally coming in late in the half. Elite just out the top, always being pressured. The Molly might be forced to use a smoke here. He's trying to tuck himself into the corner to avoid wasting util, but they're getting close. He hears the steps, pulls out the gun. It's all too late. They're already over the top of the box, and Apex finds another advantage. Five on three. Vitality have yet to lose a round that they start this strongly. Naf is looking for picks out A, but now with players running back in from middle, A is a strong hold after all. Good kill from Fallen, but there's still a crossfire in the site. A jungle, uh, sorry, top con smoke rather, throwing in from A ramp. That makes matters a little bit worse for Apex, who's trapped on the other side of it. And RPK. Max out, conceding a lot of control into this bomb site. You don't have any angles looking down to deny this cross, but you do have the palace hold from Zai Wu. At the very, very least, it's fallen in with another, turning this around from a five on three to a oh, three on no. three. But the CT swing is dominant, and Vitality, they do get five to close out the half. Regardless of that final round, Liquid still lead the way, and it's a commanding lead at that. Can they take this over, Vitality? But do the Frenchmen still have some fight left in them?
Motion of your hands, travel light lands. It's just enough, it's just enough. Oh yeah, just for you, just a man, just a notion in the wind. We ain't gotta make plans. Fair enough, it's fair enough. Oh yeah, always you and me. Poland's Angels are eyeing up a victory here. 10 5 over Vitality. And a dominant first half under their belts. Now moving into the second, a potentially last half of play. Overtime, you know, that would allow for a little bit more. And who would complain if this game goes on longer? But for us to even get there, to even consider it, we need to see more out of Vitality. Yeah, the T sides have certainly been a little bit scary today on the Vitality side. So someone needs to be the hero here because Liquid have taken a commanding lead in the third map of this series. Four on A, and here come Vitality into the stack. It couldn't be much worse than this. How will they fare? That's a good start. Apex killing Grim, and now everyone's attention diverted away from the true prize, which is this connector play. Four players coming through. Sui in the palace, not checked. All part cancelled. That's a good move, and Masuta pays off with the kill. He's going to go back for it. Then chasing him down on the site. Masuta, the hero of this round, perhaps three kills. And Fallen now has to climb high and fly high in the 1v2. Moves into the site. They're going to chase him with the Glocks. And Fallen, no Ooh. chance before. It's going to be Masuta taking that right back. Oh my, what a what a big round for Masuta, especially when Apex dies to default or on default to Stewie and Palace. It would have been easy for Masuta, who's halfway through the plant animation, just to commit, but he gets off it, he kills Stewie, and then he cleans up the round. So, yeah, big move from him. He has definitely looked good in this series, undoubtedly. But, yet to be featured on a winning map. Will that change as Vitality take a pistol and look to pull back the comeback? They could have really making use of Palace, right? They keep getting given this, and Elise is now pushed up there as well. That's going to lead to an early rotation around towards this B bomb site because Elise don't hear anything. That's a liquid is stacked four strong inside of B. Well, I say that, and actually, of course, as I say it, Fallen leaves. Now they realize it is oh, the no. B hit. They were right in this assumption and they should have kept these numbers here. They've lost two of the three players. Grimm's canceled out as well. So it is just going to be this save. It's a bit of a shame, man. Like Liquid, they look like they made their mind up. They made the read. And then because it isn't immediate, because they're not straight into B, they change their minds. Yeah, you've got to commit with your gambles, right? Like, you can't be left uh, second-guessing yourself, especially in a round like this where, you know, you're not you're not going to win it unless you make a really good, like, call, cool, a really good read. And so, you know, with risk comes reward. Liquid, don't take the risk. And are left empty-handed, saving a Galil and a Scout. This is it. This Vitality now switch on momentum. They can certainly... Pull a comeback here with a 3-0 lead into this half. Now, over on the B stream, right? It's also a Mirage game. There, Gambit, a dealing heroic, wow. a pretty rough hand. Up 11-2. No contest so far. And a lower bracket game. Keep in mind, element elimination for heroic, potentially. Check that out on the B stream if you are so inclined. But this one's a lot closer, so I suggest you stick around. Oh, Elise, 
they no. hear you and Apex just chases him down. Naf somehow USP Zywu. Oh. But then a kind of anticlimactic ending to that round there. Naf may as well have a look in. He's got a Mac 10. He can make some money here. You don't really want it in the next round either. But everyone being fairly low, the Mac 10 could make some cash. Four team liquid. Regardless, Vitality have closed this scoreline up nicely, and Liquid are going to be kicking themselves, right? Not only did they have a chance at an 11 4 half, but these pistol rounds that Liquid have been great at picking up when it's crunch time doesn't come through in this in this game. And that now means Vitality are nipping at their heels right behind you. See, if the plan was always to throw the Mac-10 away, I would have tried to see what I can get. Yeah, some some people like stats, Harry. Some people like numbers. Yeah, not only that, I guess there were still SMGs in play for Vitality, yeah. so you're just denying a little more money, right? Doesn't make too much difference in the long run anyway. We've got the buy here for Lick. We've got the orb out for Fallen and Elite even augging in window as well. He's not been smoked off, but he's still going to concede. It's an A play for Vitality by the looks. Set up very early. Apex is coming in from under, so Masuta's going to wait for him. As will those Palace players. I was looking for a pick with the orb. If it gets gifted, then that would really open up this A site, and there is a chance, after all, with the window player just moving back in. Elige doesn't know how lucky he just got on that timing, but he could still get caught out moving to look at the A site. So we're not moving. Grim jumps up and shocks, takes him down a peg. Beautiful headshot. Molly under. Stewie's been there many rounds, not today. Fallen now having to do it all from CT. He is supported at least by a liege, who's actually coming on a very safe rotation. But with that kill not going their way, Liquid are conceding the round. They're just going fine. You can have it. Plant A, take an opener. It's yours, but the worry is Harry Mizuta is waiting for this inevitability. The bomb is planted for him, so that's the game plan. But if he hears so much as a footstep, he can start to chase these apartments players away like Shox is already doing. In order to make this round worth it, Liquid need to keep their guns. Yeah, massively, right? There's no worse feeling than not even attempting a round and then still not getting out of it with the... The prize that you eyed up, which is this save. It's also scary because now for Liquid, like this is a real grind. Like this is far more grindy than you would have liked at a 10-5 half. The money is so stacked for Vitality and the confidence is starting to build up as well. Here we go, another chance at redemption, another chance to keep this lead and Vitality doing everything in their power to claw their way back into this game. It's 10, uh, sorry, it's 10 to nine. I almost said 10 to 10. Who knows, maybe it will be in just a moment's time. Vitality looking like they want to explode into this A bomb site. Three in Palace, one at Rampant. Oh, Zywu no. selling a mid lurk, but Fallen besting him in that head to head. Elige. Good for the opener and the tag onto Masuta leaves him low. There's Grim to finish the job and into the crossfires they go. It's Apex left up. Knows there's a man trapped behind default. The other two are oh, the mystery no. and oh, the weapon switch. Ugh. It's not pretty, is it? But it's around for Liquid. It's them on the board and it's taken some time for them to do it. That's huge for Liquid considering the consequence of the previous round, right? Losing one man and calling a save, that's a heartbreaker. Liquid needed to make it worthwhile by winning the follow-up and that they do. So keeping themselves above water. Grim with a big hold on the A site as well. It's still a very scary round for Vitality and they just buy right back in, obviously. Shox does not have armor. He's going to go back, no? Oh god, he's just completely forgotten to buy Kevlar with $5,000. It's not what you like. He's lurking in mid as well. Nades could wreck him, but Zywu wrecks Grim and Fallen tucked close is cleared by RPK. The, uh, the armor might not matter if Stewie Orb sho uh, shocks in middle anyway. Molly's commander. 
Again, clearing the positions that Liquid have been frequenting, but with two kills on close ramp, it's safe to say there's no one left in the A site. Elige looking to change that, but he has to do everything and then some. Yeah, how on earth do you win this if you're Elige? That's not a bad start, but yeah, that was always the problem, right? So many players who could trade that kill. So the tug of war don't last long before Liquid are dragged through the dirt over in A. 10 on the board for Vitality. Still keeping this game up in the air. And once more, they're trying to hunt these saving players. Shox is going to hear the footsteps up in the apartments. Now, Naf is rotating through the bomb site late, and he needs to keep this gun in play, which he will. I think Shox wins that fight if he has Kevlar. Like, he, 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 hit, he hit a shot, but he got aim punched pretty quickly. The spray might have been his. That's a difference it can make. It doesn't feel like a lot, but you can't win a spray battle with no Kevlar. But it's fine. Like, it doesn't really have too many consequences. And the kills even come through for Vitality. Masuzu gets them both. Oh, insult to injury. And forget about Zoe. We should be focusing on Masuta as yeah. the potential hero here. Because it was him, let's not forget, who won that pistol round for Vitality. That is the entire foundation that this second half comeback was built upon was on the back of Masuta. Even looking at their CT side. Well, one of the reasons that Vitality were even able to put together anything were those Masuta B holds early on. The fact he was able to repel them out of that B play twice. Yeah. So things are looking up for Masuta. We've had our hero start to emerge, and if he can keep this up, Vitality is still in with a shot. Oh, that could have been it. Zaiwu with a quick peek on B. The jump is dodged. And Naf, he won't be going back for that anytime soon. Just a re-smoke. They run through Naf with a spray, but he's blinded after one. And now at the back of the site, having to do it all is Stewie 2K. Molly is going to push anyone out of the car into default. Stewie can't see anything yet. That's a teammate Molly to try and keep car contained. And Stewie gets aggressive to catch Saiwu with the orb posted for the market. No cover from his teammates, although the trade. And Molly's flying in from all directions is information for Vitality. That's two separate Mollies from market. And now they can know where the bulk of this retake is coming through from. Oh, Masuta, he's going to get flashed in by Apex. They're trying to set him up to end this round here and now. Oh. Grim's gone running past him. And as a result, Fallen never gets the information. He's blindsided by Masuta up close. Elige gets it close, but Apex hot on his heels with the trade. And Vitality tie us up at 11 to okay. 11 liquid. Okay. This, this is not the time for that, for that old problem, right, of having these leads, having a game in the bag, and then it started to turn against you. This is not the time for those old liquid chokes of legend to come back into play. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't that convincing, right? It was 10-5, but you lose the pistol, and, and, and this is sometimes just what happens, right? It's, it's false confidence. It's, it's, it's feeling comfortable when maybe you can't afford to. And Vitality won a pistol. They clean the anti-ecos. They win a buy around. And next thing you know, we're in this position. Even Stevens. Saiwu so spots a con player, but he jumps away. It's fallen with a scout. Looking to window instead. Vitality just hold off in this round. They know that it's a low buy. They're very good at cleaning up these anti-ecos. So window smoke in. Fallen doesn't want to break the vent, although he will late. Gives him his path to CT far safer than going through the A site. Masuta waiting, and he's got one. Can't follow up. Elige given a gun and a chance in the palace to do some damage. Shox finds him with a MAC-10. Naf needed the kill. He needs anything he can get, but they're hunting him down on the site. And Vitality do deal with his eco round with ease. Only the CZ left. And so this is where you got to wonder, right? Fallen, Moses, are these two trained in the Heimlich? They're the ones who need to stop this from happening. Because Vitality now in the lead on the back of the broken money. The momentum starts to switch because now Vitality are believing. You know, you kind of have Vitality looking like they were down in the dumps, right? You could you could feel the frustration. It was a close game on Nuke. Either team could have won it. Liquid blew Vitality out of the water on Vertigo. It wasn't even close. But now here on the back of a very one-sided first half, but a pistol victory not going their way. And then the money, the stars aligning for Vitality. They're now the ones in the lead.
Yeah, and you're now getting in your head if you're liquid as well, right? Like you, you felt like this is already won. You felt like you had this series in the bag. And now you know the Vitality are creeping up on you. They even call a pause, that being Vitality. Just making sure everything is perfect and everyone knows their role in the follow-up round. And look at the money. Apex, $14,000. We're not going to be seeing Vitality Eco anytime soon, if ever, in the rest of this game. So Liquid have a lot to do. Look at the rounds. The one round Liquid win, that's the round post-saving on B with four guns. They win that on the A site. Otherwise, nothing really to rely on. And Vitality were kind of stuck in this, this situation as well, right? Where they were just getting dealt like really nice executes from Liquid. The mid control was there. More so for Liquid than Vitality in the first half. And even though we haven't seen as many T's from the French side in mid in this half, it's not like Liquid have had any say there. The Orb's never been in window. They, they never aggro pushed it. Maybe these are answers for Liquid. Elige going to be jumping up on Catwalk. So I would Bales in the Molly. And Elige does get aggressive. So yeah, I like the push. I like the... Your space taken by Liquid, and if Elise can get a kill out of it, that could be huge. Masuta flashed out by his teammate, and Shui set to leech up for success. Now just resetting and regrouping with an advantage. This is a beautiful start for Liquid. Pressure's now on Vitality. And a huge player to take out of the round. Masuta has so often been the guy creating this space. Making these opportunities happen, while well, this time Elise just clotheslines him. It all grinds to a bit of an uneasy halt here for Vitality. Fallen dispatches of one of these two ramp players, an RPK, like what can he even do here? Last thing he wants is to swing out with that bomb alone, be untradeable and just give that to Team Liquid because then that's the round locked in. So that forces Vitality to remove this mid aggression they were hoping was going to play in tandem with these ramp players. And instead, they've just got to join the offensive. They've just got to move in his three. Fallen's AWP is back in CT. Zywu was scoped up on the angle. These are not the fights that Zywu often loses. Fallen swinging Ooh, out, nice. lands to the tag and Zywu's brought down low. A real soft underbelly now exposed on this AWP for Vitality. The swing comes in. Shox has got their back. Up onto the stairs he goes, but a triple peak from the con side. It's not oh. going to happen. Team Liquid, they find round number 12, and they only lose one man in the process. Oh, that was brutal, wasn't it? I mean, the, the, the double opener certainly helps with the lead up made and fallen finding one, uh, but... Uh... You know, Vitality, desperate times, just trying to storm out the A ramp, and we're falling, hitting Zaiwu, finished off by the nade, the triple con play. Very difficult round for Vitality to really get any say in the matter. Double orb. Naf is joining Fallen here, not Stewie this time. Apex smokes a molly. It's a quick round for Vitality, and they may come to regret it. It was only one man committing with the flash, and Fallen blinded out will win that battle. Elige, another bomb dropped. Elige holding on to middle, and Liquid now back in control, now feeling the game again. Oh, Elige knows. He's got a third. Beautiful. One on five for RPK. Blink and you miss it. This round looks done and Stewie will make it so. AK saved. Orps are available. And, uh, you know, the money that is still there for Vitality is now going to get drawn into question soon. Tea time out first. Liquid are locking in back to back rounds. So back and forth though, right? Like this has been so unclear as to who's winning, where it's going. Like said on the desk, like an impossible game to predict. And that's showing us why right now on the server. I like how much faith Liquid have instilled in Elise in these last few rounds, right? The fact that they set him up in top mid. They have him over in the connector again to put up more numbers. Because, you know, we, we had Masuta on the other side. We didn't really have that same thing yet for Team Liquid. Well, now Elise is emerging as that character for us to keep an eye on. The one who can turn the tide in this series right at the last hurdle. Oh, when you're in a pinch, man, Elige is the guy for the job. Opener secured again. Yeah, he'll sprinkle some salt on you. 
And right now, Vitality, another uh, round, a man down out of the gate. They've been you know, hard pressed to win these positions. That's a absolutely filthy nade. And with all these AK secured as well, I mean, we just saw a lead, just one bullet Apex up mid. Well, Stewie's got the same chance to do so towards the bench. If he uncrouches, he could have seen RPK, but tucked in waiting for the commitment. And he might get it. Back turn for the orb. Zywoo walks into Stu, and Mizuta does get that crucial trade, but there's already two players here. Manaf misses, misses his shot, but coming out through the market is a leash to try and help out, and this is not a man you want to trifle with, not a man you want to rifle against. And Naf will steal the glory with two. Shocks one on four, gets the plant. There's at least that, but money is not the problem, really, for Vitality. It's getting rounds on the board, and Liquid are denying it in all fronts. How does Shox want to approach this? He's going to try and take some kind of early engagement, right? Something to tip the scales. Because a 1v4 with them free reign on the bomb site, just playing post plant, you're not winning that. And Shox knows it. He's good in these clutch scenarios. He hears the connector players crossing. CT has been cleared, so eventually they've got to consider somewhere else. The bomb is not planted for Shox, and they're already on that defuse. So the round was a lock in all along. On plant at least, but it's still 14 on the board for Liquid. There is no denying they're starting to pull ahead. They're picking up speed. And sadly, like, we just don't have this supporting cast around Masuta. That's what it's feeling like. Like, you know, in the rounds where he dies here, he gets that opening kill. And that's the only impactful kill in the round. Yeah, and all the five on fours, all these orb picks, these early advantages, they're all falling in favor of Liquid, right? So Vitality back to middle. Stewie's taking it away from Naf, and for good reason with a shot like that, Shox is gone. And well, as we are saying, these early advantages still in the Liquid camp. No getting through, no getting past. And oh my, it's a mow down. Elite finally dead, but it's too little, too late for Apex. And Liquid find 15 like that. This series coming to its culmination. And it might be a brutal end for Vitality, who at one point had max money on this T side, now have nothing to show for it. I mean, the moment this double AWP came out, it has been a good night to Vitality. A liege building confidence, getting set up with all the extra utility that Liquid had. Oh, it's been again. unstoppable. Masuta trying to go fast Ooh. out ramp. It's actually Zywoo to snatch that opener away. And a low player peeking the stairs. It's fallen, putting on a little bit of a, a masterclass for us. A liege helping out from behind triple. And this has all but fallen apart. Shoxi, last man standing, 1v3. And he's been spotted now in the bottom of middle. The bomb dropped in Liquid's eyesight. And for shocks, he knows that this one, well, this one don't look like it's coming up. Vitality, oh. the flash leaves him blind. And Team Liquid do it. They take this series. They keep on fighting all the way to those upper bracket finals. Liquid, what a performance, man.